hi friends welcome back to my channel you know they say that what we eat in the morning makes a difference in how we get through the rest of our day so in my opinion eating a bowl of nutritious whole grain oatmeal starts you off just right as it keeps you fuller for longer so tonight i want to share with you how i do my overnight oatmeal well i do it in my slow cooker so it sits there and it cooks for six to eight hours however long you want it and in the morning it's ready and you don't have to get up and be hassling with this so for all you busy people on the go this is a great option for you for breakfast ideas and you do not have to stop at dunkin donut or starbucks or wherever you stop to get breakfast so come on with me and let me show you how i make my overnight oatmeal so here are all the ingredients that i'll be needing for my overnight oats and i'm using the bob red mills brand and of course my slow cooker use whatever um, steel cut oats you have whatever brand you have it's perfectly fine whatever milk you know just use what you have in your kitchen make it your own so you I'll, I'll be using my salt my almond milk my water cinnamon stick cinnamon powder and of course i measured out a cup of the steel cut oats so um this is everything right here so i'm just gonna put it on on pour it on and put it for four hours so into my pot i'm adding my cup of steel cut oats then i'm gonna add a cinnamon stick to this just gonna throw it in there and then i'm gonna go in with my cinnamon powder about a half of a teaspoon you don't want to put too much i'm going to go in with two cups of water and then my cup of milk so two cup water one cup milk you can use whatever milk of your choice and you know what i would next time i would i would advise to use two cups of milk so two water two milk yeah i put some salt and salt is just the taste and then i'm going to go in and grate about a, a teaspoon of nutmeg After which you just gonna I'm just gonna stir these together, cover it up, and that's it. You know, you're just gonna I'm just gonna put it on high heat for four hours because it's already late at night and I have to get up at four in the morning. Yeah, so yeah. Four hours. There you go. And let it do its thing. So you're just going to go to sleep, say your prayers, brush your teeth, take a shower, do what you got to do. And then in the morning, this is what it looks like. So as you can see, this is why I say I would use um, another extra cup of milk because it, it was almost burning. Some people grease their pot before they put in the stuff, but I didn't do that. Yeah, so I'm just going to add my milk and this is how I top it off. I just put some milk, I put some walnuts, some strawberries and blueberries. And let me tell you guys, this was so, so filling. The rest of it, I'm just going to put it in the fridge for tomorrow morning. And then if I feel like doing another batch tonight, I go right on ahead. So I have it. So there you have it. This can be served hot or cold. Well... I like it hot but yeah it's very filling very healthy so you feel satisfied after having this oatmeal this oatmeal was trademarked the world's best oatmeal it's also a very good source of fiber and it's gluten-free so ditch that instant oats <laughs> because while it's quick and it's easy it's not ha as filling as your steel cut oats. So give this one a try, my friends, and let me know what you think. Make it your own. Top it off with whatever is in your kitchen. And let me know also if there's anything that you would want to see me try so I can do it for you. 
and um just thank you so much let's have a wonderful 2021 happy new year let me say that and i look forward to a wonderful 2021 with you coming along this journey with me and just let's do and grow and love on each other thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe what would mwah, love you